five reasons why photography beginners should buy this lens first. Now, before I reveal it, we're gonna go over the five reasons and I'll share some images to prove why this should be your first lens purchase. I'm also gonna share something that no other photographer in the world that I know of has ever mentioned the number one reason why this should be your first lens. So I have several lenses here and they're all different shapes and sizes and some are very heavy like my 200 to 500, which is just over seven pounds. Now this lens is compact and easy to carry and it's under one pound. Although this is the first reason, it's not really the best. The second reason is more important. So this is known as a prime lens, meaning it has one single focal length, whereas a zoom lens has multiple focal lengths. Now in general, a prime lens is going to be sharper than a zoom lens. Although I do find that my 200 to 500 is sharper than some of my older prime lenses like this 85 millimeter that I picked up in the early 90s. Overall, just better technology today versus back then, especially when compared to a kit lens that is sometimes included in some DSLR bundles. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of images to compare the sharpness of this prime versus this zoom. Now, both of these images were shot at the same focal length with an ISO of 100 and an aperture of F8. The image on the left is the prime lens and it's much sharper than the zoom lens. Now, it might be hard to see on your screen depending on the resolution of this video that you're streaming. So in the description, I've included both images and more that you'll see in a moment so you can compare them for yourself. Okay, so the next reason you should get this lens is due to the aperture, which provides you with a couple of benefits over a zoom lens. Now this particular lens has a maximum aperture of 3.5 and the prime lens has a maximum aperture of 1.4. At 1.4, the amount of light that will filter through your lens to your camera sensor is over twice as much compared to this one. So the benefit of this is the ability to shoot in low light conditions without the need to use a slower shutter speed. Now, this particular zoom lens has a variable aperture and shooting at the same focal length as my recommended lens meant the largest aperture possible was f4. So for this particular image, the first one here was shot with the zoom lens and I had to use F4 to shoot at the same focal length as the prime and that required a shutter speed of 1 20th of a second to get the right exposure. And I needed to use a tripod to ensure that the image didn't become blurry from camera shake. But at 1.4 with the prime lens, I was able to use a faster shutter speed of 1 60th of a second to get the same exposure and a tripod wasn't necessary. Now, real quick, it is true that you can increase the ISO to get a faster shutter speed, but that creates digital noise in your image, which degrades it. Another benefit to a larger aperture like 1.4 is the ability to create better images versus a smaller one. So with 1.4, you can blur out the background more than the smaller aperture of 3.5, which gives you the pro look. All right, so far you've learned a few benefits of this lens compared to a zoom lens. And you might be thinking that you can't afford something this good. However, I think this is the best return on your investment due to the price. It's more than a kit lens, but less than a premium zoom with the same focal length. Now, this particular lens I purchased for $400 and you can get a 1.8 for $200. Also, I should mention you can get this lens with an aperture of 1.8 at around $100 if you buy used. All right, so the moment you've been waiting for, the number one reason you should get this lens is because it will make you a better photographer and the skills you gain from using it will help you excel at photography faster. Now, I did mention the larger aperture will help you create better images, but that's not what I'm referring to. Instead, I'm referring to the process of using this lens compared to a zoom lens. When you start your photography journey, you're excited to go out and take some photos, lots of them, am I right? So you slap on whatever lens you bought, and in my experience, most photographers that I talk with start out with a zoom lens. 
So you go out and you start shooting and what do you do? You begin zooming in and out to frame your subject. But you can't do that with a prime lens. Instead, you have to move forward or backward to frame the shot. Now the process of doing this slows you down and makes you think before you shoot. So thinking is the key to creating amazing images and slowing down and thinking of what you're about to create are skills that you'll be developing early on, making you a better photographer faster. So think about this. Everyone has a camera, but that doesn't make them great photographers. If you truly want to master photography, you need to learn to take the steps to create something and not take like everyone else. Be you, be different, stand out, create, don't take. And it all starts with buying a 50 millimeter prime lens. To continue elevating your photographic skills, subscribe and watch this four hour photography course. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.